So the last thing that I want to show you today is uh, a very, very simple camera rig that gives you a little bit more control over how you use and, and manipulate your camera, which will be very useful as we start getting into animating the camera. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, open up a file that actually has something that is worth having an animated camera with. And that's this car scene that you will remember from the car lighting uh, assignment. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, if I go to layer 5, this is the rig. Uh, and how this works is I've got, actually I'll just stay on 5 for now. It's got three parts to it. At first it has this bone, which I've called camera move. And if I select that, and hit G to move it, everything else moves. The next thing that I have is an empty, which the camera is always pointing at. And the last thing that I have is, of course, the camera. So if I go into pet zero, to go into camera perspective, and uh, I'll select the empty, wherever I move the empty is where the camera will look. If I move the camera, up, the camera will automatically tilt down so it's always looking at its target. And then I've got the bone, which is my kind of root, if you will. And wherever I move that, both the empty and the camera move together. So here is how you make that. First, I'm going to select everything and just delete them because I don't need them. Now, I've got Shift-C to make sure my cursor is at the center. Uh, I'm on layer 5 just so it's less cluttered. And the first thing I'm going to do is hit Shift A and add in a camera. Okay, good. I have a camera. Uh, and then I'm just going to move it away from the origin for now. Maybe up here. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my empty. And I'm just going to choose plain axes. And I'm going to name it uh, camera underscore target. So that's where the camera is always going to be looking. And now I need to set up that constraint. And, th and that's what we're doing is we're going to be adding a constraint to the camera to always be looking at that empty. And the way that I do that is select my camera. And then I've got this chain link uh, icon here in the properties panel. Click that. And these are my constraints. I have four different categories. I have motion tracking, transform, tracking, and relationship. I'm going to choose under tracking, the last option, track two. Okay. Now immediately we see this blue dotted relationship line show up, connecting the camera to the empty. The problem though is that if I select the camera and just start moving it, the camera is almost actively not looking at the empty. It's being very passive aggressive. So. Let's look at our object constraints. First of all, we need to tell it what the target is. Uh, and uh, yeah. camera target, because that's what we call it. Now if I move it around, it rotates according to the empty, but it's not pointing the right way. So now we have these options to and up. So if I set the two to negative Z and the up to Y, now the camera is looking at the empty always. And if I go to camera view and hit G to move the camera around, I can confirm that yes, in fact, it is working. I can also move the empty around and still the camera follows it. Okay, now I've got a few other options uh, with world space versus local space uh, and also influence. So I could have the empty only partially influence the camera's rotation if I wanted to. Um, but for now, and for this simple camera rig, I'm just going to leave it just like this. And uh, oftentimes, this is where I stop with my camera rigs. I don't usually need a whole lot of control. I don't do a whole lot of camera animation in general. Uh, it's more for still renders. But this is a very uh, viable camera rig because if I turn on layer 1 as well, I can set my empty to, let's say, the front of the car, 
and then I can move my camera from top view to over here make sure my empty is actually at the front of the car okay and now my camera will always look at the front of the car no matter where it is um, so this can be a really easy way to adjust your composition um, also if you have this target set up that way if I select my camera and go to my camera options under the depth of field section I have a focus object so I can choose the object that will be the focus of the camera so I can choose camera target and now automatically whatever the camera is looking at will also be whatever the camera is focused on this is very useful uh, especially later on when we get into rendering and actually manipulating the depth of field okay now I'm gonna go back just to layer 5 so I have just my camera and my empty um, and I'm going to uh, hit shift s and selection to cursor to bring the empty back to the center uh, and now I'm gonna add in one more object just so that if I want to move both of them I only have to select one object and they just both automatically follow so I'm not hunting through a busy scene for both objects um, I can just select the one uh, in the outliner so I'm going to hit shift C to make sure my cursor is centered and then shift A add an armature a single bone okay. we haven't worked with bones yet so follow along closely um, and you won't get lost first thing I'm gonna do in my um, armature settings here which is this little stick figure dude under display I'm gonna choose bone uh, and I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to select my bone, and I can't remember what the key command is. It is control, control alt s. That's what I want. Okay, so control alt s, and I can make it really fat. And I'll do something like that. And I'm going to select the top of the bone and move it down so it's just kind of a skinny uh, platter type thing. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to name this camera underscore move. Uh, and I'm also going to go to my object settings, which is this cube here. And I'm going to set the maximum draw type to wire. So no matter what shaded view I'm in, this will always display only as a wire frame. Okay, so that's it created. Now I just have to parent my camera and my empty to the uh, root, this armature, which it looks like I need to rename that. Oh, because I named the skeleton. I didn't name the object. Uh, so camera, um, oh, caker, uh, M-E-R-A underscore move. OK. So I'm going to select my camera. And then in my camera um, object settings, I've got the relations tab and parent set that to camera move and do the same thing for my camera target set that to camera move and now when I select my bone and hit G everything moves with it so a very simple camera rig that gives you plenty of control to get the camera exactly where you want it